Hi guys, Ray here from City Fan TV. I'm back. I'm back. Back home. Been away for um, 16 back days. Back for good? Uh, a couple of weeks, mate. I'm <laughs> a couple of weeks. Um, and then I'm off. I'm off to Germany for a couple of weeks. Or like 12 days. And uh, you've got to go where the work is. Um, guys, I'm joined by Bernard, who is Bernard Deneen from the Citizen Channel. All your stuff, all your history stuff about City, modern stuff, old stuff. And some movie stuff as well. So Bernard is a big movie buff. And if you want to know uh, uh, what new films to watch, just go and ask Bernard. How you doing, mate? Yeah, I'm all right, mate. Yeah. I've, been, I've been warned off. I've been warned off going to away league games, though, because we last lost. Uh, sorry, home away games because I've, uh, last, I've been. We've lost the last two I've been to. So, uh, fortunately, I didn't go to Leipzig, so it all went well. So, uh, well, I said, what did I say? I said, hopefully, see. Arsenal will carry on regardless. Yeah, <laughs> and, it, and if we if we beat Arsenal. I'm coming round to break your legs. Well, in so my defence, I've been the last three times to the Emirates and we won all three. So, I mean, uh, you know, really, I should be there. But uh, No, 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 you missed what I said. If we beat Arsenal on Sunday, I'm coming round your eyes, I'm going to break your legs so you can't go into any more away games. And that's it. There's no question about it. Guys, obviously, we've got the game against Arsenal. Big, big game on Sunday. We are going to do our combined Manchester City and Arsenal 11. And that's players who... Uh, Around now, we're going to leave KDB out because obviously the guy's injured. And uh, plus, if we put KDB in, there'd be no space for any Arsenal players. So we'll leave KDB <laughs> out because he's injured. And, oh no, no, I've listened to what Bernard's had to say about Arsenal players getting in days, and it's going to be a, it's going to be a tight squeeze. So no better place to start than the back. I think both of us will agree, and Arsenal fans will agree as well. Edison is a shoe in. You going along with that? Uh, yeah, I mean, how, how good's this Raya guy? I mean, obviously, he's a guy who's been playing, isn't he? I, I don't yeah. know too much about him. I know he's took over from the other guy, hasn't he? So, what's going on there? No, I'm, I'm, I'm going with the. I, I, I don't know. He's, uh, I mean, he's. he's he can't be as good as Edison anyway. There's no one no, as good as Edison. No, 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 so, yeah, Edison. Bye, let's bye, go. Bye. Let's go for a four at the back. Let's go. Let's formation. I think we're gonna have four at the back. A holding midfielder, two attacker, attacking midfielders, and three up front. Four, one, two, three. So Edison's fine. Let's start with the centre backs. I think um, it's as good a place as any. Give us a centre back. Who are you going to pick? One of them. Pick one centre back. What from Arsenal? <laughs> no, no, from either side. Give us. A All right, I'll go for the easy one. I'm going to go Diaz. Ah, so showing that there's no <laughs> no discussion. But since John Stones is unfit. I can't I know, put John Stones yeah. in. Yeah. Um, <sighs> go on. I will go Saliba. Okay. What do you think? Okay. Saliba? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go with Saliba. He's all right. He's, he's, he's all right. Um, yeah, is he, yeah, but I mean, obviously. <sighs> look, I don't is he better do I think than Gavardio? Is he better than. No, 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 no. Actually, I've got space. No, no, he's not better than Gavardio, but I've got another space for Gavardio in the side. So. Um, uh, I'm going to put my well, left yeah, back in. Because I mean, a left back, I'd go with someone else totally. Uh, so where are you sticking Guardiol? I'm putting Guardiol at left back. Are you going to go with the no, left I'm back? I'm left back. Okay. So you're going with Aki at left back. If you're going to go with Aki at left back... No Zinchenko. I'm... Oh, behave. Behave. <laughs> behave. I mean, we love uh, Alex, uh, Alex, but no. So if, if you're going to put Aki at left back, I'm getting rid of Saliba. I'm putting Guardiol in. I only put Saliba in to because I thought I put Gavardio on the left, put Saliba in the middle just so Arsenal fans don't complain. But they can do one. Who are you going to have at right back? I like Tommy Asu. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Who are you going to have at right back? <laughs> are you having Tommy Asu? No, you know, you know, he's only a walker. He's only got to be walker. No. He's, he's the only man, isn't he? Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing because. Um, I'm thinking if we're only having one DM, if we put Rico we'll Lewis, put Lewis in there, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Rico Lewis, well said. So Lewis can go there and he can play alongside Rodri, even though he's suspended. Even though he's suspended, are you going to have Rodri as your DM? Oh, god, yeah, even though he's suspended. What about Declan Rice? Would you have Rice otherwise? Obviously, would you have Rice? Rice, Rice, baby, baby? no, no. I'd rather have baby than rice. No, Rodri, he's the best in the world. So that's 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 done. Two attacking midfielders. 
this is where the fun starts. Well, you, on that basis, you can have KDB then. If, if well, he's, injured. he's injured. He's injured. He's injured. He's he's injured. You can't have him. Yeah, but Rodri's not available. He's, he's suspended. Okay, then I'll take Rodri and put Rice in. Okay. Right. I think I think I'll go with an Arsenal one that you probably will agree with anyway. Um, yeah. The older guard is is he a attacking older guard? Yeah, I'm gonna have older. I'll I'll go along with that. I'll have older guard all day long. No no arguments from me. Uh, I, I'd love him at City, but he, that ain't going to happen. Um, and alongside Odegaard, I'm, I'm obviously trying to think of the front three, but I'm going to have Bernardo. Bernardo Silva. Yeah. See, for me, it was either Bernardo or Foden. Yeah. But I like Bernardo's energy. Um, I'm going to go with three up front, and I'm going to start as well. If it was a choice, I'd go Foden. All right. I'll, I'll cross it out. <laughs> I'm, quite, I'm quite happy. I'm going to have Haaland up top. Okay. Harland yeah, up. well, I'm not having Abbott, so I'm not having Gabby. No, 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 no. So who are you going to have on the right? Well, this is the quandary, isn't it? This is the guy that... Um... <sighs> but basically, I think... I, I would rather point. have Doku than Saka. In well, that well, team. Saka, but Doku plays on the left, so we'll... yeah. But I'm just saying, I'd rather yeah. mix, mix it up and start Doku. Doku can play on the right, no reason. Yeah, I well, think Saka doesn't. I mean, Doku's probably in, has got to be a similar sort of style where he'll be in and out of games and in and out yeah. of matches. Where you know, and I think Saka's the same. Uh, yeah. When he's on fire, he, he's all right. But the, the thing for me is, is, is Bernard um, on the right. I think there's other two options. If if well. Yeah, there's only two options, Saka or Bernardo. That's your choice. You pick who you want from those two. Saka or Bernardo? I'll go Bernardo. Good man. Good man. <laughs> Bernardo. The consistency is there, isn't it? With Who's Bernardo, going to go left? You get with, with... Bernardo, you, you, you get the same every time. And the thing is, with Saka, he always gets pocketed by Aki. So, you know, uh, you know, horses for courses. And who are you having on the left? That'll be the Doku. Grealish or Doku on the left? Or Gabriel put Grealish in. Martinelli? Grealish! <laughs> as much as I love... Oh, Grealish. I mean, what about Trossard? He's all right. He's all right. I quite, I quite like Trossard, but I'd rather have... I'd really? rather have that Doku. All right. Is that there? I don't want all right. I want yeah. there. So it has to be have? Doku rather than Grealish. I mean, you went around all the houses, mentioned everybody, and at the end, we knew what you can do. You can have uh, Doku. So, um, I will put a graphic up. Well, no uh, room for Martinelli, is he? He's not knocking around anywhere. For sub. <laughs> Who else have they got? We're not mentioned. Um, Bob Holden. I mean, we both agree, Alex is a waste of space, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. And Ketia. And Nah, and get your Harlan. Party? No party without party. Uh, uh, trust me, we'll party without party. Don't <laughs> without party. No, no fear. So uh, what we ended up with? Come on, what we, we ended, ended up, up with? with Red. Edison in goal, Rico Lewis at right back, Diaz and Gavardiola centre back, left back Aki. In front of them, Declan Rice. Uh, in front of them, Odegaard and Foden. And up front, we got Bernardo, Harland, and Doku. And just two two Arsenal players. Um, yeah, I mean it's a shame. If, that means he'll stuff us four 0 probably. Yeah, also, you know, Rob Holding had played a few more games this season. I'd have picked him at centre back. Uh, look, it, at, at City, Rob Holding would be a superstar. That's how good Pep is. Pep would turn him into superstar, um, but um, Arteta can't can't do do it. So there you go, two Arsenal players. I thought that we'd have two Arsenal players, but since you walloped me and said I can't have Rodri, um, so. I'd have, I mean, personally, when I was thinking about it, I thought if Bernardo hadn't started in midweek, I'd have had Odegaard and Saka. But since Bernardo's played, played pretty well, he's back. Um, so he's in it for me. So sadly, Arsenal fans, sad for you. Uh, only two of yours get in. And you're I'm right. I'm sure but... they're not worried. I'm sure, they're, I'm sure they'll show the true class and not have a go at us. No, no, no. I think Arsenal fans will, <laughs> will they'll, they'll respect our choices. I would just like to say to Arsenal fans, the thing is, the Arsenal team is better than better than individual players. It's a good team as a whole. 
Yeah. Perhaps. And, and I mean, City are, of course, of course we are, but with City independently, individual players, I, I think guess. Arsenal are better than some, you know, some yeah. of the parts, think, whatever, still, whatever you say. I think, no, I think both teams have got that synergy. Uh, is that the right word? Yeah, synergy. synergy. But they are, they are better. The, the sum of the parts is better than the individuals. Same with I agree with same with City because you've got to remember Liverpool had all Liverpool had the best players in all of them <laughs> and they couldn't do it. But City, the, the 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 team is better than the individuals, and I think the same with Arsenal too. But I think the, a lot of the City players, what they've got generally is experience. Most of them, you know, your Diaz's, your Akis, your Foden, your Haaland, Bernardo, Edison, they've all got the experience. Doku and Lewis maybe haven't. But um, but what Arsenal do have, and I think it is an advantage, they've got young, hungry players. They, and they're playing as a team. There's no question about that. Sometimes we, we're a bit disjointed, but I think overall, Arsenal are playing as a team. And they, they were a joy to watch last season. Don't say it too loud. You know, don't, don't no one please... Uh, clip this and put it out there that Arsenal were a joy to watch, but they were. They were one of the most entertaining teams, uh, Arsenal and Brighton last season, as, and you know, and City. I think those are probably the three most entertaining teams to watch. Um, but I, I just I struggle to put more in more Arsenal players in. But hey, if they go out and win the league this season, maybe next year we'll put more Arsenal players in. But for, for now. I think um, you know. Yeah, I mean, this, for, you know, if AF, if AF TV do it, they'd probably come up with only three or four City players in the team or something like that. It's just how it is. It's just yeah, it is. It is what, what it is. is. They, they'll find a way to put Enketia or Jesus ahead of yeah, Harlem. We see it every. We see our guys every week. Arsenal see their guys every week, and they'll have. Uh, you know, believe uh, whatever happens, it should be a cracking game. Hopefully, they won't uh, stifle each other and end up with a bit of a negative game. Hopefully, not usually <laughs> Arsenal and City. Yeah. So, and it would be, be nice. It, what would be nice is if the Arsenal fans stay to the end this time. <laughs> long, no, because that might mean they're doing well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but it, it's true. I mean, Arsenal fans are notorious for leaving early when their team's getting stuffed. You know, um, but. Yeah, you're right. Let's let's hope it's a good game. That's our uh, combined eleven. Let us know politely in the comment section below whether you agree with our eleven or whether you have any your own opinion and you 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 disagree in certain aspects and certain players. Just let us know politely, okay? And we will resp I will respond to most comments. Um, but guys, the other thing is, if you're new to the channel, if you're popping along as an Arsenal fan, please give us a subscribe. We are old fellas. We are usually quite genuine and honest with what we, we talk about. We're not here to wind you up, really. We're here to just tell you how it is. Um, and if you are new, please subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you're notified as soon as new videos come out. Give us a thumbs up. Don't stick the thumb up, but just give us a thumbs up because uh, it's nice to get a few likes. Um, but stick with us, guys. Stick with us. Uh, we going to have a fantastic season, I think. Just moving on, the season will go down to the wire. I don't think any team is going to stroll away with it unless that team is Spurs or Liverpool, which, I mean, if it's either of them, I'll tell you what, I'm going into hiding. Uh, I'm, I'm going back to Ireland and I'm st staying there if one of those two teams win it. But thanks a lot, Bernard. We will see what happens on Sunday. Hopefully it'll be a cracking game and may the best team win. We'll see you around, Blues. <laughs>